On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how I built and installed the little teeny tiny T-Rex arms and scapulas. Hit it. Okay, so let's get this road on the show. So it's not really snowing outside, but I am wearing a sweater. It is getting a little bit chilly outside, so it's good that we're kind of winding down with our dinosaur project because the drying part of the drywall would take a lot longer in the cold. That's why we kind of did it during the summer. So we're gonna start out with our Thingiverse, and this is kind of like a Frankenstein dinosaur because I took parts from here and there to get my individual bones. So here we have our scapula, clavicle, scapula, clavicle. Let me know in the comments. And then we kind of break it apart to be able to print it with our 3D printers. Here we've got our eight Ender 3 Pro 3D printers. They work really good. They were like my workhorses and they're pretty cheap. This is the scapula part printing. Okay, he's ahead of me. And then this is what they look like after they've been covered with our drywall compound and this is the part where you kind of want to do this in the summertime. Then we go through a painting process and here I was doing also the neck bones at the same time as the arms and the clavicles. So here we are now we're going to kind of put it together and there is no instruction manual on how to do this so I didn't even know how I was going to put it together as I was putting it together. I ended up using zip ties that I got from the dollar store to kind, kind of get it moving, kind of get it so that it wouldn't fall and I could work on other parts. It was kind of delicate. Uh, yep, there's our supervisor there being helpful. And let's see, so yeah, it's a one person job, so and it is kind of fragile, so the challenge here is to you get it tacked down at one point and then you kind of want to get it tacked onto another place so you can let it go. And I did receive a comment that possibly my arms and scapula, scapula, clavicle are a little bit small and I'm not sure, maybe they are, maybe they're not. Please uh, comment if you know about that, but there is an evolution to the dinosaur, so who knows which model of dinosaur this is. I guess they get smaller after a while, so. A lot of times when I put the parts together from Fusion 360, I'm kind of eyeballing the size, so there we are. So with just a few zip ties, maybe three, four, or five, now we've got our suspended scapulas. <laughs> Moving on, now we've got the little tiny arms. Here it's shown in the Fusion 360. And these were made, I guess, in three different parts with the 3D printing. Where you can see the, these are some of the claws, claw parts. And we've got eight Ender 3 Pro 3D printers printing here. And we still have a couple printing over here. 
And this is what it looks like after it's been covered. And here we do a little bit of painting. This is our two-part painting process where the second part is we kind of wash them with a thinner but darker coating so that you can kind of have that two-dimensional painting color that you see right there. So I started out, wasn't sure again how to attach the arms to the clavicles, scapulas, clavicles. So I used modeling wire initially, as you can see there, to kind of insert the little arm onto the clavicle. It's like an armature wire. It's, it's um, copper alloy. And this makes it so at least they're going to be, at least I can tack them on there until I, I figure out the second part. And then in this case, the second part was to use one more set of zip ties, carefully putting a couple of holes, leaving some kind of ugly white marks there, which at the end of this video, we're going to show you how I can just use a pre-mixed paint mixture that can very quickly paint over those white marks. So for this dinosaur, I haven't used like a, a tough resin on the outside. So there's, whenever there's friction in the installation or making holes, it does leave a white mark, which can then be, with my little pen there, kind of dabbed on a pre-mixed color that actually adds to the kind of the aging of the overall structure, so it's not at all a problem. And it's done. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We are winding down with the dinosaur. I may put out one more video, maybe for the neck bones that I haven't showed you how I made and installed those yet. But don't you worry, this is Dave's post-apocalyptic world. We are living in an abandoned building. So I'm gonna show you more about solar power, winter camping, the winter is coming. Maybe we'll even camp on the rooftop. Also, I am now on TikTok and Instagram Reels where I put up like little tiny music video shorts for you to enjoy. And please tell your friends, like and subscribe if you like what you see so you can have more of what you like. And we will see you next time on Days Post-Apocalyptic Where.